This is college basketball on ESPN, and tonight the Eagles, Warhawks in Monroe, Louisiana, on campus of the University of Louisiana at Monroe. This is Sunbelt Conference basketball, and what a matchup we have in store for you tonight. Both of these teams are coming off of a win as Georgia Southern is wrapping up a three-game road trip. ULM concludes a two-game homestand. Big game tonight for both of these teams. Welcome inside Fan Ewing Coliseum. Graham Doty joined by the Hall of Fame coach, Mike Vining and coach, taking a look at ULM, coming off a monster win, knocking off top-ranked Georgia State, and they look to build off that tonight. They do. You know, they had lost three in a row. There had been some close games. And then to, to play the, the number one team in the conference here and to come away with a big win, it was great. And Tayshawn Smith had another great game for him. And on the other side, this is a Georgia Southern team. They go on the road, pick up a big win at Louisiana. They scored 103 points. Most points they've scored on the road in a conference game since 2005, and they look to build off that. You know, and they lost that game at home and then go to Lafayette and win real big. Uh, but they're – they're four and two on the road and only two and two at home. So they have really moving up in the conference standings right now. Last time these two teams played each other on January 10th, this happened. The big corner three by Quan Jackson, a dramatic victory for the Eagles. And you know ULM wants some payback tonight. You know they do. You know, but everybody was concerned about Tookie Brown because he had the ball. They figured he's the one's going to take the shot. He got it over to Jackson and he knocked it down for him. Taking a look at some of the key players for each side coming into this contest tonight. Tukey Brown, who you just alluded to, three-time first-team all-conference selection. He has been special, and he's coming off his best game of the season. By, by far. And also, you know, they said earlier that if he's a uh, make first-team all-conference this year, it'll be the first time in the history of the conference that someone has made first-team all four years, and he's on a pace to do it. And on the ULM side, Deshaun Smith, he was fantastic Wednesday night. And what a special senior season he is having. You know, he, he did it in some different ways uh, the, the other night. He penetrated a lot. He was 11 for 11 from the free throw line. And by taking it to the basket, he was able to get to the free throw line. And then he hit some big threes also. Taking a look at how each of these two teams stack up with each other in this matchup tonight. Coach, when you see these numbers, what stands out to you? Well, it, you know, it's a couple of things. Uh, the field goal percentage, you know, you look 49.9%. Uh, and then the other night, they were 68% from three point. And tonight, uh, the, for the year, they're only 32. But steals, you know, they're, they're two ahead of ULM and also with block shots. They get a lot of block shots. ULM has done well from the free throw line. That 50% for Georgia Southern tops in the Sun Belt. They have shot 50% or better at 11 games this season. Here's a look around the Sun Belt. You look at Texas State, that's a surprise. Georgia State was preseason first in the Sun Belt coming into this year. How about UT Arlington, Coach? They were picked towards the bottom, and they're in a tie for first place. They were. They've come away with some big wins this year. They've played well, and as, as evidence right here. So, you know, everybody's just battling right now for positioning, getting ready to go to the conference tournament. Georgia Southern tied for second in the Sun Belt. ULM right behind them, tied for third. Big game tonight for both of these teams. Third member of our crew with a look at our coaching matchup is Graham Doty. Graham? Zucker Balkum enters his fourth season as the head coach at the Citadel. He spent a decade as a head coach at BMI where it took him almost four full years to turn the program around. It is fourth season. BMI went 24 and 8 overall and beat Kentucky at Rupp Arena. The Citadel faithful are hoping that this is a magical season for their Bulldogs as well. After a hot start, the Citadel lost five games in a row and are eager to get back on the winning track. On the other side, Scott Padgett and the Sanford Bulldogs have just come off the road where they dropped their last three games. Padgett, who was in his fifth season as the head coach at Sanford, is happy to be back at the friendly confines of the Pete Hanna Center. Sanford won both games against the Citadel last year and have won three of the last four in the series. Both teams are in need of a victory. It's a big game for each team who are hungry for a win. Back to you guys. Graham Doty is our court reporter, and he is there with head coach Scott Padgett of Sanford. Graham? Coach, 12-point halftime lead. What pleased you the most in the first half? Um, we moved the ball, shared it. Uh, we know we got a, an advantage inside, and our guys have done a good job of playing unselfish and getting the ball inside to, to Ruben and uh, letting, letting him finish down there. Uh, when other opportunities are there, guys have been making some shots. Uh, defensively, I think we've been 
uh, pretty good, but we've had uh, three missed stunts on the, their center who hit three threes, their backup center, and then uh, that last play right there with Parham. The whole scouting report is don't let him beat us in a, in a late clock pick and roll and we leave him. Uh, the help leaves, so uh, not not happy about those. To be honest with you, that's 12 points I feel like we gifted him. You mentioned Parham. He only has nine points. What do you think of the job you've done defensively on him in the first half? I think the most, for the most part, we've made it hard on him. I, I hate giving him that wide open when late to, to maybe get his confidence going, but uh, we've thrown three or four different guys at him so that we can stay uh, – you know, fresh and keep keep from being in foul trouble. Uh, but for the most part, I think our guards, uh, especially Myron and, and Kavion, they've got good length, so they've been able to challenge and make his shot stuff. Coach, thanks for the time. Good luck in the second half. All right, thanks. Back to you guys.